Welcome back to Celeb Corner KE. Among the many stories that are trending right now is the rise of an extremist group that is currently uprising in the streets of Isili, Nairobi. Isili is known as one of the most vibrant uh, ghettos in Nairobi with a very high population of different tribes there. And most of the tribes that are, are populated easily are mostly the Somali people, the Borana people. Uh, let me say the whole of the, most of them are uh, under the umbrella of the Islam religion. But right now it seems that they are divided between clans and a war is erupting in Isili. Remembering that it's Lee, back in the days it was being terrorized by one group called the Superpowers, the Superpower, which is a group that comprised of young uh, boys, most of them who were high school goers when taken over the streets of Isili by terrorizing people and stealing from people. Now the gang is the current gang is alleged to be a notorious extremist group operating under and wreaking havoc in the neighborhood of his lead through hearts of violence. In the video seen by several media platforms and mostly shared by blogger Robert Alai and Kileleshwa MCA, several gang members are seen attacking a man who is handled inside the car. The identity of the vehicle remains a mystery to the people. Now, in the video, the man is mercilessly hand, uh, added blows on the head and chest by several members of a gang. The violent show of brutality by organized groups is part of a broader trend of increasing extremist behavior in the region. Earlier, lawmaker Farah Mahalim drew criticism after he made inflammatory rhetoric with repeated references to violence against civilians. He was later summoned to the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, the NCIC, to answer to the charges. Now, on March 31st, a gang shot and seriously wounded a businessman before making away with 30,000 US dollars, equivalent to 3.8 million Kenyan shillings. Now, the incident that happened in broad daylight and was captured on CCTV showed two assailants on a motorbike intercepting the businessman who was on a motorbike going to BBS mall to deposit the money. Pressure is piling from concerned residents of Hisili who are asking Kenyan law enforcement authorities to hack swiftly and contain the violence. Further calls are made to have the gang responsible for the brutal attack of a man depicted in the video arrested and brought to book. Now the spotlight remains on Kenyan authorities to intervene and suppress these dangerous extremist ne networks that threaten the stability of the region. Is Lee has been on the spot in the recent past of a skyrocketing cases of violence on civilians by, by organized syndicates perpetrating extremism. The rise of religion extremism in the country has been further compounded by troubling incident of brainwashing and admission to into uh, gang groups including Somalia-based AS. I call them AS because I can't use the full name. But right now, let's speak about the current trade and the current video that is making headlines on social media. And you know what? This is not something that we can keep quiet about. It doesn't matter which religion you come from. We are all Kenyans and we are under one umbrella of unity which unites us all. And the umbrella of unity that I refer to is none other than being a Kenyan. We all are under the Kenyan flag and we respect that. Among the many tribes that live in Isili, the most popular are the Somali and the Borana people, followed by the Meru people. Because easily, you know, the, the Meru people and the Somalian Borana people, they relate in different aspects. They relate in how they, in their, in how they live, though they don't share uh, the religion most of the time. But their cultures and even uh, how they carry themselves, they relate. But now, this video was posted by Robert Alai. And they said, hello DCI Kenya. What is this that is allowed in Nairobi? What nonsense is this? Can security officers move with 
speed and arrest this gang which targets every Somali who criticizes some special clans in Nairobi. Does this CIA exist clearly? The gang and, and leaders are well known. Chuma and his gang should be behind bars ASAP. If you don't want a problem in Nairobi, and he continues by posting a video of two men uh, depicted to be the, the leaders of the gang. And he says these two form part of the gang and are said to be part of those leading the attacks. Robert Alai again posts another video and says this is the most notorious of them and can be heard here pushing their motto. He posts uh, and he even went ahead to post uh, a video of a certain man who is wearing... Uh, a military camouflage. He is wearing, wearing a military uniform and also saluting. And Robert Alai says this is their leader. Now this is something that we as Kenyans cannot allow to happen. We can't allow this to happen in our country. We have all been fighting a rogue government that has been terrorizing us. Uh, where we are trying to have a stable government. Now... Come on and explain to me why people of the same blood, people who serve the same God, people who under the same religion, how are they turning against themselves? Because some people have turned to be extremists. Now, I want to read a few reactions from uh, also a few residents of uh, Isili who are currently reacting to this story. And what they have to see in regards to what is happening is in Isili. Because this is not something that we can, we can take lightly as Kenyans. Almami Moha says, Robert Alai and DCI, these boys want to bring their tribal shenanigans from Somalia to Kenya. They should be stopped now. One DD says the visitor stayed too long. Can they build Wajia and load World Somalia? Ibrahim Abdi says Robert Alai and DCI Kenya. Thanks for raising the matter, Mr. Alai. I raised the issue last night and tagged DCI. I hope Isili becomes part of Kenya. This gang replaced superpower, which was dominated by another clan. It's alleged that a famous Somali rapper in USA, like his case, is the main financer. Uh, they say uh, the, the gang... The gang uh, is the main funder and the group were protected by Hamed Rashid, head of Pangani 9, a clan gang and focused more on heading superpower. So these people are replacing superpower. It's just like a fight between clans and they have turned it to be violent. You know, in our current uh, government or in our current times, the fight that we should be having are fights about development. Isili is one of the, back of the backbones of the development of our country, Kenya. The, the people of Isili are Kenyans that work day in, day out. To, to, they pay taxes and they keep this country on the move. It doesn't matter whether they are Somalis, whether they are Boranas. It doesn't matter whether they are Gabra, but they are Kenyans. And that's what we should take into consideration. Remember. The population of the Somali people in our country, Kenya, is equal to 2 million. They are uh, among the top six most uh, popular groups in, in the country. So the matter should be taken serious, not lightly. As I continue reading, Terta Gutihab says you should see what they have done in Sweden. These Somalis are uncontrollable, Kabisa. They can't integrate at all. Why should they be fighting? That is the real question. Now, Robin says Islam is never... Uh, no, we are not talking about religion and they can't read that. Robert Gal uh, Robert Tifa says this is very wrong. I wish the DCI, DCI watafanya kazi yao waraka na kukamata hawa watu. Yani Somalis wameanza ku... Kutukalia kwetu. No, let's not put it about religion. These people are wakali kwenu. They are fighting against themselves. This is a Boranas and Somalis fighting. I thought these people are brothers. Though we have all known since back in time that there has been a fight or uh, there, there has been differences between the two groups. But we never thought a time will come in our country Kenya that these people will start fighting each other. Remember the superpower was a group that terrorized the people of Isili. 
the group was mostly populated of young boys let me tell you we all see what happen, what has been happening in the middle east where uh, the the Amas and the israel we have seen what has been happening in lebanon the the hezbollah group the party of god with the government of lebanon there has been fight and these are the same these, these are the same fight you know i have i am a lover of history and i am a lover of uh, development and also uh, how we should think as people that are developed right now where we have to draw the line when it comes to these nonsensical things about tribes and clans because we all speak the same language that is swahili and english it doesn't matter whether you come from kikuyu you come from luo you come from somali you come from burana or gabra no that nonsense should be put aside right now and that is when we as a country will move forward now that is where we all say now the dci should f now focus on what is supposed to be happening that is their job the, you know these these radical groups are the same radical groups that you find them uh, planning attacks in our country CRT because the whole uh, islam i have been a new, uh, 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 i am a lover of the islam religion i am a student of uh, of islam religion i am a follower of religion uh, of the islam religion i've studied it i have come to love islam but islam does not does not allow me to become radical to a point that i hurt my brother because he has a different opinion of what i am saying or because he comes from a different clan from the, which i am we should be people that should realize clans and tribal and the civil differences is something that should be left behind us right now we should be looking at tunapaswa kuwa sisi wote we are speaking about the movement that we should keep going the movement which is growing our country putting kenya forward now continuing na unaspata na akisema kwanza wewe na hiyo mdomo yako unatusi unatusi nayo morana lonzo work Mm -hmm. I, I don't get what you guy these guys uh, Jirani anasema hii Kenya tukilala hakuna peace itakuwa there is nothing like peaceful religion here eh uh, Ahmed anasema Robert Alai and DCI should be keen on the border corridors especially JKI Garissa Nairobi or Kampala Malaba customs lazima wafunzwe na wa, 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 wajibike na sheria ya Kenya Hali bila say som, wa Somali ukabila itawamaliza huyo msee anapigwa juu ametusi leader wa kabila yao seriously DCI Kenya hii story italeta shida kubwa kwa hii inchi na hawa wa Somali ameingia huko bila document hii ni bush uh -huh. Im, uh -huh. Halma says this is the worst that could happen to a man arrest these people nobody says this excites ruto so much ona watu wameeka police leadership in the country maybe pia yeye aliangalia clan zao ana says these guys need to be tamed right now dci kenya they are tainting the image of ad working kenyans and portraying bad image of, to the somali community i also say that and i also support that very much because i've told you easily is one of the backbone of this country Uh, Glutton says I hear they call it self regulation my worry is when kikuyu had self regulation system which was called mongiki it went overboard same here and that is what is happening let me tell you about radicalization radicalization happens when people who think that you know what we should stick to the old ways as a religion you know mongiki mongiki as a sect was meant to unite the people of Mount Kenya region. Are you getting me? It was meant to unite the people of Mount Kenya region. But what happened is some people with different opinions came and now they instilled violence into the minds of the young people. We are now Mungiki started fighting the Kalenjin community in the Nakuru region and in the Rift Valley region believing that we 
we belonged to that place but these people during the moi regime because moi was a kalajin they came and pushed us out now we as the people of, uh, we as the kikuyu people now that we have a group uh, a militia group which was now the umbrella mungiki we should go back and reclaim our land we should go back and revenge for brothers and sisters that were taken out that is the same thing that is happening in in, in, in Isili. right now there is a group that is coming now their main aim is to take over to fight the the said group that was called a uh, superpower but now they have instilled the mentality you can you cannot speak contrary to what a leader or our leaders let me ask you do you see how many people abuse president william ruto daily have you seen president william ruto's people come and kidnap or maybe attack uh, every kenyan that speaks heel about the president no because they understand we live in a democratic country where everybody has the right to a different opinion this is kenya we all live under the same unity that is the kenyan flag that leads us tunasema e mungu nguvu yetu ile tembaraka kwetu akiwe ngao na mlinzi natukae na udugu amani na uhuru raha tupate na ustawi remember that and them which unites us all it doesn't matter which tribe which place you come from as long as you live within the borders of Kenya and as long as you are a Kenyan citizen by birth or by any other mean you have acquired the Kenyan citizenship you should respect your brother so the DCI should act quickly before this thing goes out of hand because i have seen things like this happen not only in Kenya in different countries i'm a lover of history and i have watched a lot of documentaries on how such radical groups come to terrorize a country we all saw what happened in rwanda you know when we speak about the rwandan the rwandese genocide the hutu and the tutu people that is how it started these people think that they are superior than these and then i in no time they have started forming groups fighting no we can't take that nonsense in our country that is something that we should stand against remember this is celeb corner key leave your opinion in regards to this on your comment on the comment section and we shall uh, read your comment and review it i want the somali community the people from the somali community it doesn't matter whether you are borana you are gabra come on tell us what you think about this Leave your comment on the comment section. See you in our next video. Remember, this is Celeb Kona K.E.